Hello, my friends. Welcome to the metal shop. Today, I'm going to just talk a very little bit about the Blue Driver. This is a Bluetooth OBD reader that uh, uses your phone as a very um, comprehensive and technologically sound way to read codes in your car off of your OBD port. And I really, I did a little bit of research. Check out Chris Fix has an excellent video on the Blue Driver. Eric the Car Guy also does one, but Chris Fix, as usual, has probably the best video on YouTube. Uh, anyway, so I did my research, and this is $100 for the Blue Driver here. The app is free, um, but I figured for, I mean, you have this sophisticated phone that I'm filming this video with that you pay, you know, whatever, seven, eight hundred, a thousand dollars for. Why am I going to spend money on an expensive code reader when this, this is just better. This reads codes and it tells you in plain English what the codes are. It tells you how common they are for your car. It tells you the fixes for them. It is, it's amazing. I mean, nothing like I remember in the old days, if you guys are, you know, subscribers to my channel will see when I did the OBD one on the Mustang, we're looking for, you know, flashes of light and counting them and then checking the codes in a book. Um, you know, most code readers aren't much more sophisticated than that. They're getting the codes and they're giving you a number that you then have to look up, you know, on the internet or, you know, in a book or whatever. This is, you know, this is just a wave of the future. I really like this thing here. And the reason I bought it is because my son's uh, 2006 F-150 threw a code and then a week later, my Explorer actually threw a code. And I, this thing has already paid for itself as far as I'm concerned. And I'll get into that when I uh, plug, plug this thing into the car and I talk about that. So it couldn't be any easier. It comes with this neat little uh, cloison type of logo here. You could stick to something, I guess, if you wanted. And a little cheat sheet here. Install the Blue Driver app on your phone. Plug the Blue Driver sensor into your OBD port with the key off. Pair the Bluetooth on your device to the sensor. Just do that in settings, no big deal there. No code required, didn't have to do the back and forth or type in the code or anything like that. Launch the Blue Driver app and it does it automatically and you turn the key on. So, pretty easy. Uh, so let's, uh, we'll take this over to the Explorer and give it a whirl. All right, so here we are in the car. I know you guys who subscribe to this channel are pretty technologically savvy, but I just wanna make this video for anybody who happens to come across it. There you see your OBD two port in relation to the steering wheel and this uh, knee panel, this console underneath. So we're gonna plug it in, simple. It only goes on one way, this is nice too because it has a logo on it so that has to obviously go face up. Now, the light comes on, we got power. Now, I'm gonna use my wife's phone because I figured out obviously that I can't shoot the video and run this <laughs> run this at the same time all right well this is lame anyway there blue driver all right so we are connected oh, i'm gonna turn the car on All right, you see that okay? All right, so here we'll go back. We hit read codes. If you want to check the codes from the check engine light. It says it's scanning. Pro tip, thanks for that. And it says, now there's the permanent trouble code. This is why it kicked on the check engine light to begin with, is this crankcase ventilation system disconnected. So you can also show, since this is, I started the vehicle, it's running, we can look live here. No data source to graph, I forget. I, did, I set all this stuff up on my phone. I, you can check off what you wanna look at. Fuel system status, engine coolant temperature, Short term, fuel trim, intake manifold. Let's just go with that. So there we go, look at this. Giving me real time data. Look at the, look at it down there going crazy as it's sending real time data to 
the phone here. Nice. Anyway, let's give a brief pause here. So I just briefly wanted to point out here that the fact that I even had to buy a code reader, it's a little bit annoying. Now I know they want you to go to the dealer and the dealer will charge you at least a minimum of an hour, you know, 75 to hundred dollars just to check your code for you. Now, if they're gonna do the work, obviously that's that changes it. But I have this screen here. I have another screen here. I have a third screen here. And I have all these modes I can toggle through and do all this stuff. Why can't I just, why won't it just give me the same stuff that I'm getting here from this onboard diagnostic, you know, from this $100 code reader I had to buy? Why can't I get this stuff here? And obviously the answer is because they want you to go to the dealership for service. They want you to pay. That's why. But it's it's just ridiculous. These cars are so sophisticated. Why can't I get it right from here? Anyway, I, dig I digress. So the only code that you saw that was, it says PCV disconnected. Now, if you remember, really the only performance modification that I did, that I did to this vehicle, other than the cold air intake and the exhaust system, was I installed this oil catch can in between the PCV on the positive crankcase ventilation tube, which just basically takes vapors and blow by oil and takes it from the, the top of the, uh, the head and routes it right back into the intake stream. So I routed this catch can in here and I, so I knew immediately when I got that PCV dis disabled that that's what the issue was. So, and I've had it on there for a long time now. I've had the car uh, be two years this spring, so but that's been on there for a long time. I've emptied it a couple of times and it does collect a good amount of vapor and you know, you get oil um, droplets and so on that collect in there and you get some nasty schmeg. And I believe I showed in one of my previous videos, check it out, where I believe this is a win because of all of that stuff, all that excessive, that the vapor and the oil is going right back in your intake and technically what that does is lower your octane. Um, so basically all I did was I took this apart and I cleaned it really good. I just used, you know, I, I cleaned out the reservoir here, I cleaned out the screen, I cleaned out the hose and it works fine. I ran the car and I went for a drive yesterday for about say 50 miles or so and the code didn't come back on. So, and I'm not gonna conclude the video here. I'm gonna, like I said, I bought this to do my son's truck and stupidly in my haste, I went and uh, cleared the code from his vehicle, but I know what it is, but I wanna give you guys kind of a good real world, um, kind of a, anyway, a good real world demonstration of the Blue Driver and the app. Hopefully if I, my son's truck is parked outside, hopefully we can get a little bit better shot of the, uh, the other phone that I'm having to use here to show the, uh, the display on, uh, on your phone that the Blue Driver provides, awesome. Hello, my friends. So just a quick follow up to the blue driver video. I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of tough to shoot this because as you can see, it is raining today. Thankfully though, it's like uh, January the 5th, January the 5th and it's raining and not snowing. So that gets a thumbs up for me because I don't have to move rain. Ha! Anyway, so just a quick little uh, follow up here. Um, what I wanted to do was show the blue driver and how you would go about using it. Um, so let's see what we got here. So I happen to know that my son's check engine light is on. Okay. So you, you know, you run out, get yourself the, uh, pick yourself up the blue driver. I got this from Amazon, about a hundred bucks. Price fixed, not much really you can do about that. So let's shut the truck off here. So we're gonna install the Blue Driver app, which I already did. This is the wife's phone. The Blue Driver app is installed, pretty simple. Plug, Blue Dri plug in Blue Driver sensor, key off. We're gonna do that. Tough to see here. Sorry about the light, I'm not gonna get out. It's pouring rain. There, you can just see it right there. No big deal, I'm gonna do this by feel. Plug this thing right in, nothing to it. Lights up. Nice. Then we are going to, hopefully in the daylight here, this will turn out a little better than when I shot with the Explorer 
in the garage. Come on. The wife's falling. I don't know how she lives with this thing. Seriously. I'm outside my house and someone's calling the phone here. God, so annoying. All right. We've already installed the Blue Driver app. Let's go ahead and open it. Lemur vehicle monitors. It gives you options to purchase the Blue Driver if you haven't already. Not now, thanks. I already got one. There's the screen. Do you have a Mitsubishi? No, I don't have a Mitsubishi. That's it's been giving you that. They want people to give you feedback about a Mitsubishi. So we don't have that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key on. And I've had issues with that. There we go. Now see it's it's blinking red right there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unplug it and I'm gonna plug it back in. It's gonna go blue, which is what we want. And hopefully. No, it's it's red. Alright, so now now we are connecting and we have the blue. All I forget that the Bluetooth was turned off on the wife's phone. Uh, to save power. She was in like a low power mode, I guess. So now we're going to turn the key on. Turn off this fan so we don't have to hear fan noise. Launch the blue driver. So we've done that. Great. Let's see here. If we go to read codes. Now we're getting, just went blue over there. It is scanning. Pro tip. Set your vehicle under vehicle info if enhanced codes are not listed here. Okay, thanks for that. Good. So, what do we got? HO2S, heater resistance, bank one, sensor one. O2 sensor signal, bias, stuck lean, bank one, sensor one. Okay, those are two different codes, the P53 and the P2195, but they both mean the same thing. That the, the bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor is bad, and I already knew that because I checked this last week. I picked up a Motorcraft sensor from Rock Auto. Actually, I got this from Amazon. Scratch that. Sorry. Uh, they're about fifty dollars. Um, I think I paid fifty-three for Amazon Prime for this um, right here. So now I could clear the code if I wanted. We're gonna go back and I go to clear code. I'm not gonna bother to clear the code because it's just gonna pop right back up. I did a little bit of research. And the bank one, sensor one, the bank one, sensor one, sensor is the most difficult one to get to. So I'm just going to take it to my friend's shop. They've got a lift. Uh, easy peasy for them, you know, to, to throw in the new sensor. I should point this out. My son, 17, almost 18 years old, really doesn't know um, anything about cars when his uh, check engine light came on. He even said, he said, oh, it's probably just an O2 sensor. And that's from dealing with him and his friends in a bunch of junk cars. <laughs> you know, I guess they have a lot of O2 sensors go bad. This thing's got uh, 124,000 miles on it. It has four O2 sensors, two upstream before the catalytic converters. Anyway, two, as I was saying, two upstream, two downstream. So having one go bad in the 124,000 miles really is not, that's really not too bad. So... This will conclude the Bluetooth OBD code reader, the blue driver video. Um, I do have a special video coming up next to my faithful subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, please stay tuned for that uh, special video that, uh, that we're doing next. But as always, my friends, I thank you for watching. I, I greatly appreciate your support. And I'm really trying to crank out, you know, one automotive content related video a week here. Um, tougher to do in the winter for me, but uh, I'm really trying there. So as always, my friends, once again, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.